Hello everyone, welcome to the THR show. My name is Osasu Paul Azino. The THR show focuses on social sector managers and entrepreneurs who by sheer determination and passion work through their projects. And this show will focus on the challenges and the impacts of this project. Please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, or people you would like us to interview, please drop a comment below. Hello viewers, welcome to the THR show. My name is Usasu Paul Azino. Maya Angelo says, each time a woman stands up for herself, without knowing it possibly, without claiming it, she stands up for all women. My guest on the show today stands up for all women, particularly rural women. Please make welcome Nkem Okocha. Thank you. Nkem, it's nice to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. So I know that you know, I know that you focus on rural women, and that's a great deal. You know, we would like to know a lot about it. But first, let's know, tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, my name is Okocha Nkem. I'm the founder of Mama Money. So, Mama Money is a social enterprise that empowers poor women in rural and urban slum communities. We identify these communities, and we go there to empower women with um, free vocational and financial skills and also microcredits. Oh, 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 oh. So did you, did you, did you happen on this? Is this something you've be, always been doing? How long has Mama Money been in existence? We've been in existence for almost four years. Oh, okay. Yes. So how did you, how, why, why did you, why did you choose to do this? Okay. I started Mama Money due to my personal experience as okay. a young girl. Okay. I lost my father like 19 years ago. So my mother was a widow with no funds, nothing. She was just a full-time housewife. Mm. She had no skill. She had no money. Mm. So feeding and going to school was a very, very big challenge for us. So a family friend came over to our house and gave us some money to feed us. But instead of using the money, she used it to go start a small vegetable business. Okay. So that's how she was able to start her business. She was able to start feeding us. But it was still not enough. So at a particular time, I had to go hawk in the streets selling shampoo. I hawked in a Balogu market, a Swani. I even had to become a house help mm. to get money to, to go to school. So, okay. so that's my, my background. So I said to myself that no child deserves to go through what we, we went through. That if, but you're a graduate. Yes, you're a graduate. yes, okay. yes. Okay. So I said no child deserves to go through what we went through if I, have enough money, I would want to help women. But I kept on waiting. The money was not forthcoming. After um, I, I, I went for my national diploma at Aochi Polytechnic, I was opportune to start working in the bank. That was around 2004. So I uh, started a part-time program with Lagos State University that's banking and finance. And I had a lot of women that used to come and meet me and still tell me, I'm thinking, I beg, I want money to eat. I want money to pay for my picking school fees. And I'm like, myself, I don't get the money. So I started talking to myself, what will I do? I was waiting until I had a lot of money. But in 2012, I resigned from my banking job and because I was not feeling fulfilled. And um, when I resigned, in the morning, I had like a small um, internet cafe. I would see a lot of women sitting down idle in the community where I stayed. Oh, you, you ran an internet cafe yes, yes. While, you in while, while, while I was in the bank. So um, I would see a lot of women sitting down idle. Some of them, I'll see some of their children um, not going to school. So I started asking them, why are you picking no go to school? And I said, I have no money. So I said to myself, this cannot continue. So mm. all the money I had made in my internet cafe for a particular period, I took it. I called a vocational skill train, I printed flyers, and I pleaded with my zona pastor that we need to use the church to empower women in this community. So we went out into our community, we shared the flyers, and we had almost like 70 women. So that's how we started. That was, that was in 2013. 2013. Oh, yes. great, great. Okay. So tell me, tell me ex um, explicitly about your project. So I know that there's a vocational part, 
but tell me categorically, you know, what your activities are. Okay, so what we do is we, like I said before, we identify the community. We have like what we call community outreach. So print our flyers, we tell them. What communities yeah. particularly? So we have gone to like Makoko, okay. Mushi, Igondo, um, Iyanosashi, um, uh, Okuafon. So, so these, these are these are rural. Communities. Yes, yes, in Lagos, in Lagos, okay. that's the urban slum communities like Ajegule, okay. Makoko, okay. and so communities like that. We've gone to those communities, so we identify them. We print our flyers. We tell them on this particular day we are coming to train all the women in this community for free, without oh, for free for free. Oh, they get all the training for yes. free. So how do you fund that? So I, when I started, I started with my own pocket money. So um, any money I made in the store, I would use it to fund the training. But in 2015, I, I was doing that for like two years. But in 2015, we started getting um, support from the U.S. Consulate General in Lagos. Okay. So for the past two years, our trainings have been sponsored by them. Our free trainings in these communities have been sponsored by them. So we go to um, at least one community in a month to, mm. to, to sponsor, their, to train their women. So basically what we teach them is that we are teaching them um, skills that with um, a little capital they can start. So we're teaching them how to make liquid soap, liquid disinfectant, um, catering, pop off, Zobo, um, mm. Ankara Craft. Mm -hmm. Then what we also do is that we teach them um, how to market and brand their products because these women, some of them are uneducated. They will never go to a business school. So all my experience that I've had in all the trainings of that, so distilled to their own um, level. So that that's basically what. So we you do, do training and yes. you do some level of um, 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 business uh, training, business training, business training, okay. and also what we do, we do financial um, um, training, financial skills training because we realize that some of these women. They don't know how to manage their money. So okay. you see them, they are selling. Maybe she sells 5000 today. She has used 2000 for her shoebi. She has used 1000 to buy brocotto that she will eat. So they don't know how to manage their money. So sometimes mm -hmm. you see that their business fails. They start looking for money to do business. So we teach them how to, okay. to, to manage their, okay. their business. Then okay. after that, for those that signify interest to say, okay, my money, we want money. We now say, okay, we provide them with microcredits. But mm -hmm. how we get that funding? Because the first funding, when the women started coming to meet me, I had no money. So in, but in 2015, we got the grant from the Tony Lumelo Foundation. So with that grant, we were able to start funding our women. Wow. So, but when we exhausted that grant and we still had a lot of women coming, so we said to ourselves, what will we do? So instead of um, giving up, we leverage technology. So that's why sometimes we say we are fintech. So we have like a web platform where individuals, socially conscious individuals, can go and invest in these women by lending to them. So let's say you have 20,000 Naira, 30,000 Naira that you're not going to use for the next six months. You go to our platform, mm. you click on a particular woman, the money gets to us, we, we fund her, then we return your money back after six months when she finished paying back with 5%. Wow. Interest, yes. Wow. Wow. So there's benefit to, yes. Yes. to the funders in, in, in yes. itself, the individual funders. Yes. So that's why we don't say donate. We say invest because mm. you are getting your money back. So we tell mm. our lenders that you are getting double interest. That's social interest for helping a low yes. income woman overcome poverty. Yes. And you're getting, no matter how small, just a little interest on your on your principal. Wow, that's great. So so you train them, yes, and then you teach them how to do business. Yes, and then for those who qualify, you also try to ensure that they get some level yes. of low interest loans. Yes. Wow, that's that's that. So that, for me, that's a very interesting um, you know, package. But you know, I'm wondering. So because you mentioned that you worked in the bank for 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 eight a couple years. for eight years. And you say that, you know, because you, and I didn't hear that you had from your experience and from your trainings, you teach them. So I'm, I'm wondering what trainings have you been privileged to be at to be able to distill this kind of um, business information to these rural women? OK, so I've been opportune to, um, like I said earlier, I was um, 
we got the Tony Lumelu Foundation grant. So I'm a TF, uh, TF uh, alumna. So we had like three months training, um, um, teaching us how to run our business successfully, um, setting milestones, um, knowing when uh, what to do at every point in time. So for like, and we also assigned um, mentors. So for me, that was very key for me because this is something that I just, it, it, like I said, it started as a passion to help women. I didn't know it would turn out to what it is today. So I was assigned to a, a, a mentor who had like 25 years experience in um, the financial um, um, in the, um, sector. sector. So for me, um, when I focused on the women, I was like, okay, these women, we must give them money so that they can take care of their children. So I was more on the children, children because of what I went through. But she's like, no, 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 no. We have to make sure that these women get it right. <music>